So a lot of people use self tanners and spray tans to save their skin from the sun. But are those products themselves really safe? So let's start with how they work. So proteins on the top layer of your skin react to ingredients in the self tanner. The chemical process is actually called Mallard reaction. This reaction is actually what causes food like bread to turn brown when cooking. So the active ingredient that causes that reaction in most self tanners is dihydroxyacetone or DHA. DHAs can break down collagen and elastin in the skin, and that then leads to wrinkling and aging. But dermatologists say that's typically not the case with self-tanners. They react with the top dead layers of the skin. Skin aging typically happens within the deeper layers. So when it comes to how long you wear self tanners, dermatologists say it's always best to follow the instructions for the specific product that you're using. But since most self tanners are leave on products, there, there are not specific safety risks associated with leaving it on your skin longer than recommended. Dermatologists say really the biggest risk comes with spray tans. Studies show repeatedly breathing in those chemicals can cause cell damage within your respiratory system and then can trigger conditions like asthma. Instead, they recommend that you wear a mask and ask the salon to avoid spraying your, avoid spraying your face. Now, a better alternative is to use lotion or tanning drops at home.